This video is rated M for Mature. Happy Scream Fortress. One thing I always found odd about TF2 was its H rating. For a game that is rated M for Mature, it doesn't really feel like one, especially when compared to other games with similar rating for the violence it contains. Sure, TF2 has... But all in all, is pretty tame with its stylized themes and art style. Compare that to other rated M games at the time that were aimed to be realistic and gritty with... I think the big thing here that differentiates them is intent. TF2 wasn't trying to push violence as a point, rather it's a stylistic choice that originated with the late 90s Quake-styled games and their limited gore which was a consequence of technology at the time. Team Fortress 2 does not have these limitations, so the way mercs explode is purely a stylistic choice, and thus looks more goofy with the graphics of the time. Compare that to a similar game with a similar art style, that being Loadout, and you can see a big difference with the gore while still stylized, featured more detailed anatomy and blood. It was definitely more graphic, and I can understand why someone wouldn't feel comfortable playing such a game, which includes my brother. Thus, in my opinion, the rating doesn't feel appropriate for TF2. I think the game deserves a T rating instead because it's removed enough from reality that it wouldn't really have much of a consequence to anyone if they viewed it without knowing it before. Sure, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, especially since TF2 is free to play and anyone can lie about their age, but it is something to think about. And it really got me thinking about other aspects about TF2's mature content. For example, did you know that TF2 is advertiser friendly? While the mercs do say some bad words like damn, crap, and hell, bad words that have to do with sexual things, racial epithets, or the really bad words are almost avoided entirely, with the exception of son of a bitch. They never say things like and or and for mercenaries, these guys sure do their best to not speak like sailors. This does show that TF2 never tried to pass some bar of violence or shock and instead was mostly a game just made to fit that vision Valve had for it, and only pushed boundaries when necessary if it meant adding something that fit the game. Another aspect that can be looked at is all the pain sounds that we hear from the mercenaries. For anyone who has seen a gritty war movie or played a gritty war game, we are familiar with how traumatizing hearing a soldier writhe in pain is. TF2 does have mercenaries yell out in pain, especially when hit by a melee weapon or a crit, but never do they cry in pain. The sounds are prolonged and you can tell that what they got hit by was painful, but never in such a way that it's bad to listen to. If anything, it's really funny, which is obviously purposeful. Accompany that with some wacky ragdolls and you're having a gay old time. I guess the last thing that people associate with a mature game is sexual content, and aside from the community being a bunch of degenerates. TF2 itself doesn't really have anything of the sort that would be expected, unless you considered shirtless men and pinup girl revolvers to be sexual content. But that does raise into question user-generated content, because, man, some of the stuff that people put on their objectors is absolutely vile. Especially when somebody is putting something on their spray or objector that is just... <sighs> It's just really painful to think about. However, while that is obviously very bad, and I wouldn't let some kid play TF2 without those kinds of content filters on, in fact, I wouldn't let a kid play any game with user-generated content enabled because of how it can be exploited, the ESRB itself does not rate player interactions online. That's why if you are going to have a game that is rated T or rated E for everyone, you're gonna have to disable almost all user-generated content. I mean, come on. We've seen those custom stages on Smash Ultimate. And before I forget, don't look into your spray folders if you have auto-delete sprays disabled. That is truly scary. Overall, TF2, in my mind, doesn't really fit that mature rating that it has, especially when compared to a game that was shipped alongside it. 
that being Half-Life 2. It could very well be a change in times, but again, it doesn't really matter. TF2 is available free to play, and anyone with an email can play the game. Hell, I first started playing TF2 when I was 12, and I turned out fine. I think.